Hi everyone, my name is Ingrid Honkala and today I'm going to share with you a really cool story that I would describe as co-creating at its best and following guidance. Perhaps you have heard for the past few years many authors and spiritual teachers such as Abraham Hicks, Wayne Dyer, Mike Dooley, Pam Groud and many others talking about co-creating. They said that we create our own reality. The story I'm sharing with you today is a clear example of co-creation, but also a story that tells us that we have to listen and to follow our inner guidance. The good thing about this story is this, this is something that could happen in our daily life to any one of us. So about four years ago, I decided that I wanted to build in our house a new laundry room because the one that we had was very small and, and just very cramped. There was not really a space to, much space to move freely or, or, or to be able, I like to hang some of the clothes, so th there was not really space for that. But to build this laundry room, the only way we could just really see this happening was to making uh, an addition or, or doing an extension in one of the sides of the house. But this extension have to really look like it was part of the house, so it wouldn't look weird. Then we, we started to, to plan the project and get the ideas of how we were going to build this room. So finally the years passed and we had the chance to do the project and we uh, started to build. The contractors came and, and the process started and everything was going really good. Then there was uh, this, this uh, to explain you how, how this extension was, it, it, there was a, a bathroom and there was a, a walk-in closet that was uh, tied to or, or following this bathroom and what we did was like we opened a, um, one of the walls in the closet and connected this closet to the new area that was going to be a, kind of like a continuation of the closet and, and the laundry room. So everything went really good outside the place look look amazing it just looked like everything was the house was flow uh, flowing all together so the project looked really good but in the inside there was only one thing that could be a setback and it was the flooring because this was an extension of a bathroom of a closet and the floor had tile and and i wanted to kind of find a similar or, or the same tile so it would look like the whole room was just one unit. But um, the thing is that our house was built 20 years ago. So the contractors kept telling me the possibility of you finding this tile that matches this, ba this bathroom is going to be really really difficult having that thought in my mind i i i've been always very stubborn and, and and i always have had in my head the idea that nothing is impossible i am going to find this style so i started to go to all the stores um around that this area where where i live and even in some nearby towns where i could find the tile and another thing is that when the good thing was that um in the attic of our house i found a couple of of the tile that was laid out 20 years ago in the bathroom and the closet so i grabbed this this piece of or this tile and i went to the stores and i would show the tile to the the vendors and and they would say mm, you're not going to find that tile. That tile was put so long ago in your house and 
the, everybody suggested that what I had to do was to rip off all the other tile and like new tile in the whole area so everything will look the same or I will have to buy some tile or something else or put a carpet or something else that could kind of work or with, with what I already had there. Then another thing that was also a setback was that the tile that was in my house was a 13 by 13 inch tile then on top of that every time I went somewhere they like we don't carry a tile that is that measure so things were like <laughs> like it was showing that it, it was going to be very hard to find this tile but I kept trying so after I visited a few places and, and everybody just say no no you cannot do it you cannot find it one night i i went home and and um i meditated that night and in my meditation i asked for guidance i i asked what should i do where I, I i wish i really wish i could find this style and and i i had the feeling that i could find it probably somewhere else then like is usual to me I, I did my meditation and, and I woke up like around three four in the morning and when I woke up I had the clear absolute clear vision of a place in my head it was not just the, the vision of the place but it was a name and the town and the location where I could find this tile then it, it was actually a town that was about one hour and a half from here from where I live and so when I woke up and I had this the name of the store in my head this is the part when when i i tell you i was telling you that we have to follow inner guidance because what i did is like i immediately i always sleep with um paper with a notebook and and pen next to my night stand because sometimes we think oh i'm going to remember this tomorrow i uh, tomorrow i'll wake up and i'll remember what what i just dream and, and it doesn't work that way you many of, of you have realized that you think that you remember your dream and later you'll be like i know i dream something but i cannot remember so this is what i always do i grab my notepad and i wrote the name of the store and i, and I wrote everything that i just had in mind at that moment when i got up in the morning i didn't even know that this store with this name existed so i went online uh, as soon as i got up in the morning and i looked for this store and yes there was actually a store that was located like i said before like about an hour and a half from my house and i just decided to to follow my inner guidance i'm like okay if i dream about this if, if this is telling me that the tile is there that I'm going to do the driving and I'm going to go to that store then I grabbed my car I grabbed my tile and I drove all the way there so when I actually even when in my way there I called my best friend and I told her what had happened I told her about my my vision and I said I'm going to find my tile in this store and I arrived there and I went into the store with my tile and I showed the tile to the lady in the cash register and I'm like look I am looking for a tile and I, this was put in my bathroom long long ago and I'm hoping to find this tile here she called somebody and 
the guy came and when he looked at the tile, he immediately looked at me and I, and I said, what is it? I said, I I'm looking for this tile. It was light in my house 20 years ago and everybody tells me I'm not going to find it, but could you guide me to find something similar? And he kept looking at me and I, and he just turned and he pointed right there at the, at the stand where all the tile was, at the area where all the tile was set. And he said, look. And the exact same tile was actually right there at the front. And there was actually even a sign that said that the tile was 50% off. And I just, this was amazing. It was, I was out of my head because when I told the guy, look, this tile, everybody told me I couldn't find it. And I told the story and, and I told what everybody has told me and say, they pretty much everybody was right about it. He said, you are the first person in all the years I've been working in this store that can find a matching tile. He says, usually it has to be completely ripped the old tile and put a new tile or just play with what you have there. But you are the first person in all these years that I've been here that can find a tile that matches what you already have. So everybody in the store, it, 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 it costs so much commotion that People in the store, like the other sellers came and he was showing to everybody and telling what happened and so everybody was there gathered together and it, it was, it was amazing. So I went home happy with my towel and I showed the, the workers in the house. They, they couldn't believe it either, the contractors. And so th this was incredible. The tile was light in the, in the place, like you see here in this picture and now the whole room completely look like it was all belonged together like it's just one room and i didn't have to go through a big expense changing the whole tile so with this i just uh, wanted to to tell you how we are able to create our own reality. I, I for years, I, I wanted this room to happen. I wanted the, the whole room to look flawless. I wanted this floor to match. And like I mentioned before in my other video, what are the odds of things like this? And like I said at the beginning of this video, we have to also be able to follow our inner guidance. When I had that dream, when I had that vision, if I didn't write it down, if I didn't follow what I saw and what I felt, then I never would have gone to that store and would not have had that tile. So it's not just about creating, but it's also about following, following what many people call it. I follow my heart. I, I follow my God. I, 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 I follow this inner saying that is telling me go there, do this, or make this decision or answer this call, whatever it is that you feel within that is this, this urge to do or, or this yearn to do, or, or you feeling guided to do, do it do it because it might be guiding you to something that you want it to happen for yourself. You want it to happen in your life. You, you want it to happen for, for your loved ones. So always look within, always look within and, and follow this guidance. Like I just mentioned in my, in my video, I meditate, uh, I meditate twice a day and I meditate throughout the day and through this meditation I, I always trying to keep myself high to keep myself connected to keep myself open to 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 listen and, and to sense and, and to 
um, ask for that guidance and I always ask for clarity. Always ask to the universe. I always ask to the spirit guides, to the beings of light, please help me see things with clarity. If I feel that I receive a message, if I have this um, feeling in my God, what is this telling me? What is this guiding me to do? Why I am feeling this? And most of the time, I would say almost 100% of the time, I get the right answer. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. Another example, although very simple and, and that reflect maybe just like a daily day situation is just a demonstration that we co-create our reality, but also a clear example that we have to learn to listen and follow our feelings, follow our inner guidance. We, the universe is given to us and we have to make ourselves ready to receive. But how we do this? The way to do this is, I would say, the, 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 the more direct way to me is meditating. If you cannot sit with your legs crossed and, and stay in a space and, and meditate there, then do a walking meditation. Walk and when you are walking, do it consciously. Hear every bird, look at every tree, feel the breeze, walk with presence. Just by doing this, you are putting yourself in the now. You're cleaning your, your mind. The idea is to clear your mind from all these thoughts that are making your mind so busy that you cannot hear, that you cannot sense, that you cannot feel. So with all these practices, another thing I do, just have one conscious breathing every time you remember, just close your eyes and Bring consciously, put, put your, your conscious in that breathing, then at that just little spam of time, you're clearing your mind from all thought. And the more you repeat this, the more you repeat this, then the more you open yourself to just be in the presence, to be in the now, to be ready to receive what is going to be given to you now. So thanks again for being here with us, for sharing this uh, spam of time with me. I will see you next time. I love you and take care. Bye.